Hey, welcome back to the Your Financial EKG YouTube page. My name is Drew Blackston. I'm a certified retirement counselor, investment advisor representative, and I am your virtual financial advisor, helping you get to retirement, helping you get through retirement, and protecting your ability to stay in retirement. Now, I have a very special Can I Retire video today for you. I actually had a subscriber leave a comment on our last Can I Retire video asking the question, Can I Retire? And he left a lot of his retirement information in the comment. And so what I'm going to do today is go through that for you and for him so he can answer the question, can I retire? And if you would like me to do the same thing for you, you can either leave your retirement information in the comment section below or in the description of this video is my email address. It's info at Pearl Wealth Group and you can email me your retirement information and I can put together a personalized retirement analysis for you. Now listen, before we get going, before we get any further, make sure if you're not subscribed to this channel that you hit the subscribe button below. Smash the like button if you're enjoying this content and thank you so much for leaving all your comments, any of your questions, and yes, I do read those sarcastic remarks and I respond to everybody, even those who are sarcastic. Now listen, let's go through this gentleman's scenario. Can I retire? Now, a little bit of backstory for you before we get into the actual analyzation, before we get into the income, the retirement income strategies. Here's what we've got. We have a 52-year-old male. Now, in this case, it doesn't matter if you're male or female, but this gentleman was a male. So a 52-year-old male, he is single, okay? His income want in retirement is $125,000. I know I had a comment on a retirement video recently that said someone with $125,000 in income, that's ridiculous. Well, this, this gentleman wants $125,000 in retirement income. His concerns are this, inflation. I know we all have that same concern. Healthcare cost and his income in retirement. Where is it gonna come from? How long is his retirement income gonna last? And that's why we're gonna get into some of the retirement income strategies. Now, here are our retirement assets. We've got $1.6 million in retirement investments. So this is cash or investments, $1.6 million. Now, he didn't tell me how much money he was adding to his retirement investments. So what I did, I took his income want, which is normally pretty close to where your income is currently. I multiplied that by 15%, which that's a good figure. If you're saving for retirement, you want to save at least 15% or more of your gross income. So I took, I took 125, I multiplied it by 15%, that gave me $18,750 annually. So we're adding $18,000 into the $1.6 million until we retire, okay? In assets, he has a home that's worth $2.2 million and it's paid for. And he, he told me that he had a home in New York City, but he did not give me a value on that home. These are going to be considered non-liquid retirement assets and these are considered retirement assets. Now, I did have to take some liberty on his Social Security because, again, I didn't get all the retirement information I needed. So for Social Security at 62, we're going to say he gets $1,800 a month. And at full retirement age at 67, we're going to say $2,500 a month. And I just pulled those figures from the $125,000 in income and just from doing this for so long with so many different people. All right, so let's get into the can I retire for a 52-year-old male with $1.6 million in retirement assets. Hang on right there. Here we go. All right, 
right, let's go through the retirement scenario for a 52-year-old male. He's single. He's got $1.6 million in retirement assets, and he's asking the question, can I retire? Now, I want to give him, who is a subscriber to the channel, he actually asked this question in the comments, I want to give him two separate scenarios. The first scenario is that he retires at 55, and the second retirement scenario is that he retires at 62. Now we've done all this on the board. We've factored in inflation. I've only used my HB2B Plus calculator to do all this. And I want to show you how easy and how simple it is to put together a retirement income strategy if you do it the right way. Remember, our goal here at Your Financial EKG is to get you to retirement get you through retirement and protect your ability to stay in retirement. Now let's start with the first scenario, retiring at 55. We've got 1.6 million dollars. We're going to retire at 55. So for the next three years, we're going to continue working. And as we're working, we're going to add $18,750 into our 1.6 million on an annual basis or on a monthly basis on whatever you want to do. So for three years, we're going to earn 7%, adding about $18,000 into our investments. So at the end of three years, we're going to have $1.9 million. Okay? Now, at age 55, the income want or the income need is $125,000. For the next seven years, we're going to earn 6%. We're going to go from 55 to 62 because we're going to start Social Security at 62. Because we're retiring so soon, I want to take Social Security early to compensate for the amount of money that's coming out of our investments. All right? So seven years, 6%. Over the next seven years, if we take out $125,000 annually and we factor an in inflation of 3%, we're going to have $1.8 million at the end of seven years. At the end of seven years, we're going to start taking Social Security. So Social Security is going to be $21,600 annually. Our income need has gone from $125 to $153 because of inflation. So we take $153,000, which is our income need, subtract out how much we're getting in Social Security, and that's $131,000. And 400. So for the next 10 years, right, from 62 to 72, we've got $1.8 million. We're going to earn 6% a year over the next 10 years, taking out $131,400. That's going to put us at $1.5 million. Now I know it's getting small, so make sure you zoom in or pause the YouTube video and then zoom in. So now we're at 72. We've got $1.5 million. Our income need has jumped from $125,000 to $153,000 to now we're at $188,000 because of inflation. Social Security is still at $216,000. Now, I left Social Security as a static figure. It gets a COLA increase. This year's COLA increase is going to be 6.2%. I did a video on that. Go back to my home screen. You'll see that. But 6.2% is this year. Last year was in the 1%. So I, I hated to like say, okay, this is what Social Security is going to be. Let's just keep it static. So 188 is our, invest, our income need. 216 is what Social Security is going to be. That means we need $166,000 out of our investments, earning 6% a year over the next 10 years. At 82, I don't know if you can see this, we only have $540,000. And I don't want to do any more after 82 because in my professional opinion, this retirement scenario does not make sense. Now, this gentleman does have a home worth $2.2 million paid for. So essentially, at any time in this chart, if he decided to sell his home, let's assume he sold his home in New York, okay, let's say it's $2.2 million, and he moved to the great state of Florida where I live, and cost of living is much less here, unless you go to Miami, but still, it's much less than in New York. Now you've got, let's say, a million and a half dollars of liquid assets that you can just put into there, that's going to make this scenario a lot better. But my assumption is that this 52-year-old male is going to stay in his home for the rest of his life. Now, let's look at retiring at 62 because this scenario works out a lot better and you're going to see why. So at 1.6 million, we're 52 years old. We're going to work for 10 years. 
So for the next 10 years, we're gonna add that $18,750 back into our investments. We're gonna earn 7% a year. And you might ask, why am I doing 7% in the growth years and 6% in the income years? Great question. In our growth years, we're not trying to get dividends, we're not trying to get interest, we're not trying to get you know guaranteed income products or anything like that. And so we can earn more because we're trying to grow the money. S&P 500, small caps, whatever. Once we get into the income phase, I don't want to try to grow it as much as we are in the growth phase. We've got to be a little bit more conservative, and so that's why I take the growth percentage down 1%. It could be less than that. It could be 5%, 4%, and we do all those scenarios as well. But I thought 6%, that's really what we've done over the last 10 years, was a good scenario for you, for you and for this. Okay. So now, 10 years of working, adding $18,750 from 1.6, now we've got $2.9 million and we're retiring. So our income one at retirement is $125,000. In this scenario, I'm going to say let's take Social Security again, right at 62, which is $21,600. That means our income need is $103,000. Well, if over the next 10 years we earn 6% and all we need is $103,000, at age 72, we'll have $3.5 million. So we're actually growing our assets, retired, and taking out income. All right? Now at 72, we've had our income grow, our income need grow from 125 to 153 because of inflation. Social Security is at 21.6, which means we need $131,000 off of our investments to get us from 72 to 82. Over the next 10 years, earning 6%, we'd be at $4.6 million. So you see the difference between 4.6 and 540? So in this scenario, again, just on the surface, it makes sense to work to 62. I think taking Social Security early makes sense. Go ahead and take it. Take less off your investments. And now you got 4.6 at 80 versus 5. 540,000 and this here is going to help with the health care cost concerns that this gentleman had also the inflation also the retirement income concern again there's a lot of outside factors that you have to consider when you're doing retirement income planning but this is something that we do for clients and I want to do for you go to my website yourfinancialekg.com there is a retirement download for you there it's called the roadmap to retirement when you're filling that out it's going to ask you if you want to meet with me for a 15 minute phone call click that box and say yes let's talk let's talk through your retirement scenario and let's put together a detailed retirement analysis for you that'll get you to retirement that'll get you through retirement and will protect your ability to stay in retirement, all right? Now, I hope this has been helpful. If it has, smash the like button. If this is your first time with our page, make sure you subscribe, uh, hit the button below. But thank you so much for watching, taking your time. I know this was a longer video. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.